Every time we argue, he'll never get over it. I know this is tough on you. Put him on the phone. No. What's he doing? Is he packing his stuff? Yeah. Right now. Alicia. Jane, you coming with me? Hmm? No. You can leave, Winston. But you are not taking my son. You coming with Daddy, Shane, yeah? He's not leaving, Winston. My son, you're you not doing? taking it. What? You're not. What are you doing? Taking. Huh? What are you doing? My son. Get off me. Yeah. Go and find Elisha's dad. Yeah. Let him look after you. <laughs> hmm? Next parent, please. Come in. Come on. Mrs. Harrison. It's Miss Jacobs. I went back to my maiden name after my divorce. Uh, well, Miss uh, Jacobs, first of all, thank you very much for coming in to see me. I am afraid the situation with your daughter is actually quite serious. Wouldn't you think so, Alicia? No, not really. Alicia, turn that thing off. I am. I've, I've got it on silent. Miss Jacobs, your daughter is failing my course. 
she's not engaging with her classwork and she's become very disruptive and aggressive sometimes to both myself and to some of the other students. Aggressive? I can't believe this. I've also seen her smoking on the school grounds several times and only yesterday I found her cheating in a mock exam with one of my other students, Nathan. To be frank, I'm afraid Alicia's work is well below the level required to remain on this course. She is doing okay in her art class. I thought perhaps we could discuss her home life to see if there was anything there that might be affecting her work. Do you hear what this man is saying? Thought cheating ran in the family. What do you say? You, you want to start this now? Miss Jacobs. Wait. Do you have something to say to me? About what? I saw Shane earlier. You saw Shane? What did you see him? On the bus and he, he didn't even recognize me. Well, how can you see him and not tell me? Why didn't you phone me? Well, you would have spoken to him. Now. <gasps> I need to come in and talk to you about Alicia I, some I'm other sorry, time. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. As a teacher, I have to address students with conduct disorder issues. You're so dramatic. Excuse me? I said you're dramatic. Alicia, stop it. Why? He's only pretending to give a shit because you're here. You're not the same gentleman in class, are you? Alicia! Turn that off. You what? Now. Glorified surprise teacher. You know very well that I've been at this school for a year now, so I'd like a little more respect. Now, please, turn it off. Look, I'm aware Alicia's been struggling here, but I need her to finish this course. Why don't you stop chatting shit in my mum's ear? I know you're only doing this because you fancy me or something. Alicia, seriously? I caught you staring at me, you fucking bow. Not getting enough at home, are you? How many times do you find Will you shut up? That's enough. Tell my mum what you called me the other day. Alicia, wait outside Go on. for me, please. Tell her. You're an English teacher. Spell out if you want to. N I G G out. Get out now. Fuck you! Oh. Oh. Stop it! Please just stop oh. it! Oh. Then we'll get her excluded. I'm not putting up with her attitude anymore. Alicia's not always been like this. When I gave birth to her, she was as quiet as this room. I was the one screaming down the hospital. Throwing up into the nearest bedpan. Wondering what I was going to tell my husband of two years about this gorgeous little baby girl I'd just given birth to that belonged to some balding parasite of a teacher I had a one night stand with. That's impossible. Really? Look at her. Jesus. Oh. 
Why are you saying this now? Does Alicia know? I'd like to see Alicia do better than this. And I hope you'd want the same. I don't want to hear about this Nathan boy anymore. So if possible, I want him moved to another class. I don't want my child going to some juvenile learning facility. So just do what you can and fix this. Sarah. Thank you.